Welcome to the movies, pal. Your friendly neighborhood master chaos back with you once again for another Vinegar Syndrome VSA review. Uh, don't worry, today I'm being joined by the lovely brother Chaos. How you doing, bud? Hello, everybody. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on. Uh, well, you're always welcome here in the theater, and you at home are always welcome. Come on in. You have a seat, as always. That's right. Uh, today, uh, we're talking about um, a very unique film. Why don't you uh, reveal it to us? Uh, the Grave, which is VSA number, number 17. VSA 17, The Grave. Would you believe that this movie belonged on the Criterion Collection? Let's find out. Now, I'm not lying when I say that I, I believe The Grave could have easily been a Criterion Collection uh, type film. And as we go deeper into the story, you'll find out why and, and we'll discuss it towards the end. Uh, VSA to me has been such a mess of titles that it almost doesn't really have a flavor or a feel anymore. To go from something like LA Wars to Dr. Jekyll's Dungeon of whatever bullshit to something like The Grave, it, it, it just feels like they're picking movies out at random. For the cast, I know you're you're the VSA guy. You're you're the completionist here. What what do you feel about the, uh, the what I guess what I'm calling the flavor of VSA? It has no flavor. They just randomly pick titles for the films, action films, uh, with Cynthia Rothrock, which are good. Then they pick uh, like ridiculous low budget horror films, which probably would never get the light of day, like the Doctor Jekyll movie. The um, House of Bullshit, I'll just refer to it like that. Yeah. Which I really liked a little bit, but I'm I'm biased because I, I like really, really bad movies. So But uh, today they picked out a movie that was uh, shockingly good. Shocking, shockingly good. Um yeah. let's talk about the grave. Do you wanna you you wanna lead on the on the plot there? Sure. There is uh a very dark uh cell room there which you've seen in the trailer and a priest is uh, interviewing a convict and the convict is the narrator and tells the story of um, what these happened. These two guys. These two guys, they're childhood friends and uh, they're in jail together and from another prisoner they hear there's a grave with buried treasure hidden in it somehow. If you get to the grave and you and you desecrate it and you 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 dig it up dig it up you'll find the, the hidden treasure yeah so they they plan to escape jail which they do successfully and the main guy go goes to one of them gets shot and mm -hmm. he goes to uh, a bunch of friends to help them out which the friends work at the mortuary so they're not particularly doctors, but that's the best they could get. And then the the other guy goes to this girl, his, his ex-girlfriend. And then the word spreads about uh, the grave with the buried treasure. And then that's when the things get really rolling. Yeah, this is a this this is a very interesting film. It's 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 one of those. It feels like um, um, a simple plan. I don't know if you remember that film, uh, the Sam I Raimi do. movie. I love that movie. Uh, and so the grave feels like a, a, a sort of a, a backwoods, down home kind of country, Ozark, you know, kind of movie uh, with a, a a simple plan, plot structure, where um, a, something simple, hey, uh, let's let's dig up this grave, gets complicated by greedy bastards and people turning on each other, and you can't trust anyone. Exactly. And it's it's uh, honestly fantastic. Uh, from 1996, directed by Jonas Pate, written by Jonas Pate and Josh Pate. Um, this is uh, a movie that I think probably has the biggest cast of any Vinegar Syndrome release. Like, uh, like well-known people. Right, right. And I'm surprised that in the trailer it shows already them basking in the glory of the treasure. Trailer yeah. showed showed everything, you know, but... It would have been cooler if you, if you didn't know if the treasure was there or if it wasn't. But I guess the trailer lets you know that, that the, the treasure is down there. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, there, there's definitely a lot to discover, and don't worry, no spoilers. We won't say anything. No, we're not gonna mention anything. Um, I will say this movie surprised the fuck out of me, and that's hard to do. As a writer, I'm always looking for the twist. I'm always looking for the reveal, and this movie surprised me. Uh, and I, yeah. I'm happily so. When a movie surprises me, it wins. I say, movie, you win. Um, and I will say in the beginning, I wasn't won over with it. I didn't love the accents. Uh, I thought Craig Sheffer uh, and Josh Charles as the two as, uh, convicts that escape. Uh, good actors, but I did not like their accents. I thought it, it, it felt like Same. the entire cast felt like rich, rich kids that were trying to play Southern people. Uh, that's what okay. it felt like to me. But then it gets going and things start happening and then it gets, it wins me over. I was the same way with the accents. I, I didn't yeah. like, but then I, there, let's just say it's a movie about greed, double crossing and uh, getting your just desserts. I, as I, when I finished watching this film, I was thinking it, this could, could easily have been uh, like a Tales from the Crypt episode if it had a longer runtime. Or shorter runtime. Um, oh yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I mean, th there's there's a lot to love in this movie. Um, uh, so, but it's one you have to stick with because, in the beginning, you, you and and, and uh, it's a small nitpick about the treasure. It looked like the, the Goonies treasure. Like it was just like pearls and, and like and oh, like gold man. balloons. It was like, is this fucking one eye Willie's treasure? That's a little goofy. That that's what it was. But yeah, whatever. Uh, small nitpick. But it, the accents. You have to get past the accents. And then the movie really develops. And I'm saying about, about about the 20 minute mark, I'm like, okay, there's something here. Something's happening here. And the plot goes in directions you don't expect. Uh, and the ending, I'd say the, 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 the whole third act is quite suspenseful, very, very twisty. And um, it's well worth the ride. I mean, absolutely a, a must. If anybody would ask me, what's one VSA I should buy? I would say The Grave, but it also is not indicative whatsoever of what the hell a VSA is. This would easily have been a standalone Vinegar Syndrome title. Yep. I don't know why they put it in the VSAs, but I'm glad I have it and I ha I'm glad I have the, the freaking poster, which is nice. The girlfriend of the guy that, that you see there, mm -hmm. that she works at the pawn shop, she's very pretty. Yes, that's uh, that's Gabrielle Anwar. She's been in a ton of stuff. She's uh, she's amazing. She, she's a great actress and uh, Look at that, that's like Goonies treasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, um, but yeah, no, she's amazing. Uh, like I, I just mentioned it, Craig Sheffer, Josh Charles, Keith David plays the priest. Uh, Giovanni Ribisi is in it very briefly. Um, uh, Anthony Michael Hall, uh, yeah. amazing. You know, uh, evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight! Bitch, are you for real? And, uh, and then Eric Roberts appears very briefly in like one scene. So this is a, this is a movie that definitely packs in the celebrities. And I'm not sure if it was just a, a deal that they had, like the producers knew everybody and they called in favors um, or everybody just liked the script. But this is one of them that to me completely fell under the radar. I'd never heard of this movie before. Right. If you're watching it and you're by the 20 minute mark and you don't like it, give it 15 or 20 more minutes and uh, you'll probably be hooked in like we were. It's a fun yeah. movie with a solid story. It makes sense. Uh, things fall into place. You're, you're surprised by what what happens, and overall, a fun ride. I love this movie uh, very much. I was I was shocked and how how good it was. Uh, but uh, BC, give us your star rating first. Four stars. Is what I'm gonna give it. Yeah. I, when I first saw it, I was thinking three stars. But then I thought about it at night, and I I, I really liked it. This is something that I could watch with when my family you know and they would like it you know yeah i mean there is one sex scene in it and it's not too bloody which is cool like meaning for a movie that you could share with your family right um the, the, it, it's not like you said the sex scene isn't too bloody oh no no no, no. <laughs> but uh it, it's a it's a well-made movie a solid movie you could watch with friends you could watch uh at any time of the year and it's a, uh, it's a solid flick, four stars. Uh, I'm with you. Uh, I'm I'm going four stars as well. And the reason it's not going to get five, is only because I, I felt the beginning was a little rough, and, and I was it, it sort of turned me off the accents, and it just I, it, like I said, it felt like 
Beverly Hills rich kids, you know, pretending to be Southern Baptist. Yeehaw, let's be Southern boys. Let's get some treasure. You know, like it felt a little too like, like they were putting on some some stupid community theater play. But it wasn't until the plot really kicked in that I'm like, all right, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna let that go. Um, but that that yeah, the first 20 minutes it might turn people off. So for, okay. yeah, four stars. I'm with you on that one. Four stars for the grave. I think. I don't right. think I've given any VSA four stars before that I can think of. No. I'm glad this movie exists and I'm glad it was shown the light of day because now we're going to enjoy it and we could show it to friends. Yeah, and we can we can show them the bloody sex scene that we love so much. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no bloody sex scene. No. Um and the Goonies treasure, very 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 important. Um yeah. but yeah, I'm, from a writer standpoint, the movie never lets up. It keeps going. Story-wise just chugs along and it, del it delivers the goods man i'm very impressed with that um i i know a movie's good great when when you don't press the display button on the remote to see how many minutes are left in the movie like the last hour of the film i let it ride i was like i don't care how long this is i i was like at the edge of my seat wanting to know what happens i mean do these guys get away with the treasure or not you know i wanted to know Absolutely. I mean, you can't give a better review than that. You you give a shit enough that you want to know what happens. Yeah. Um, okay, time to close the theater down. This, right. I believe, might be the last review of 2021, I think. I think, that, I think if the schedule wise, this will most likely will be the last Mastercast Theater of 2021. Of course, I'll be back for 2022. So will uh, Brother Chaos. We did pre record a lot of yes. reviews I haven't shown yet. And uh, uh, and then luckily, since he's here with me now, we'll do a lot more of these um, uh, pre-recorded as well. Where, you know, where these, if we've seen the same these, movie, these pre-recorded uh, lives, not sorry, not lives. These pre-recorded review videos. If you guys like them, let let uh, let us know in the bottom, and we'll yes. give you more of them. Um, I myself um, having lots of fun hanging out with my good pal Master Chaos, and these films. And talking about them it brings me joy. So I'm down for whenever he needs me. He just gives me a call and I'm like, sure, I'll watch so and so and I'll talk about it. My mind is kind of like Swiss cheese sometimes, but I try my best. So yes. I hope you guys enjoy the collaboration and the dynamic that goes on between Master of Chaos and Brother of Chaos. Um, I, you know what? I know they do. You have a lot. You have a lot of fans. Uh, a lot of people Thank love you, you man. Um, honored to have you here, uh, my friend. I'm honored to have you at home watching. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, make sure to leave us a thumbs up on your way out the door. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you here. Let's hang out again in 2022. Uh, it's only going to get bigger and better. I've got some big announcements. The year, 2022, the entire year is honestly going to be me focusing back on my film career so you're going to be visiting a lot of sets That's hopefully cool. hopefully a very big one but i can't say anything right now until the contracts are signed anyway let's call it a day i'm going to bid you adieu i'm going to grab the curtain pull it across the silver screen here wish you the best remember we love you we love you just the way you are take care of yourself yeah. hang in there it gets better right brother chaos right that it gets better it does get better the new year is only going to get better just hang in there like Master Chaos says, and uh, look on the bright side. And there is always a bright side. Absolutely. And with that, my friend, we'll send you out into the cold. Stay warm. Until we meet again, the theater's closed for now.